Hi folks, this is Brian with another Windy City Cigars video. And today's adventure is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be talking about cigarettes. Candy cigarettes. Now, candy cigarettes first came out in the 1930s. Uh, people my age, maybe a little bit younger, have an awful lot of memories of saving up their dimes and nickels and running off to the store to buy a, a pack of candy cigarettes and, and hanging around with your friends and pretending to smoke them. A lot of them were actually modeled, the, t the boxes were actually modeled after uh, brands such as Marlboro, Lucky Strike, or Victory cigarettes. Now, as I remember, there were three basic types. You had sugar cigarettes, you had chocolate cigarettes, and, uh, and you had uh, bubblegum cigarettes. Uh, I usually went with the bubblegum cigarettes myself. Now, they were, this was, they were very, very big, but in the 1950s, they were considered fairly controversial. An awful lot of parents were afraid, oh my God, their kids are going to turn out to, to like smoking and become smokers just by playing with candy cigarettes. The fact that they still had ads on TV and, and were smoking like mad in the movies had no effect. Uh, in the 1970s, and I believe in 1991, the U.S. Uh, government tried to ban the sale of candy cigarettes, but nothing ever happened. Uh, they had been banned in North Dakota. There was a ban there for a while, which lasted about, as I remember, 14 years. Uh, I do know that many countries have banned candy cigarettes, uh, like Brazil, Denmark, Finland, Norway, and the United Kingdom. Uh, well, they're not banned here. You're not going to run into them an awful lot, and a lot of the uh, very early brands or early types of candy cigarettes are considered quite collectible. As I mentioned, the uh, candy cigarettes I remember most were the uh, bubblegum ones. Uh, I wasn't that uh, interested in the, just the straight chocolate or the, uh, or the sugar ones. Uh, I'll give an example here. We have uh, a packet of the bubblegum candy cigarettes. And if you're careful, you can blow off a little, little bit of powdered sugar out of here and make it look like smoke. This is basically, as I remember, and I'll tell you in just a second, now it's basically fairly hard. It's kind of like some of the, uh, the baseball card uh, bubble gum that you get. Just a little hard, just tear it shrunk off and uh, have a good time. That's actually not bad. Another type that was available were the chocolate ones, and these were more favored by some of my younger friends. Not much to do there except pretend you're smoking it or just let it hang out of your mouth like uh, some of the actors and pretend you're cool. And then when you were uh, done or when you got it thoroughly uh, soggy with saliva, you just peel the, the, uh, the paper off and try a chunk of that as well. Again, it's kind of hard chocolate, but it would melt in your mouth pretty quickly. Finally, we had the sugar ones. And I was never really fond of those, but a lot of the uh, kids I knew were. An example of that is the king size candy cigarettes, which are a little bit larger than the standard size. Now you can get any of these uh, cigarettes. We sell these on our website, either as individual packs or as uh, larger size boxes. Please keep in mind we're having a big St. Patrick's Day sale. So that should be coming up the next couple of days. Uh, as usual, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.